hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel this is ben today we're going to proceed with what we did on code igniter and we're going to look at register urls processing the callbacks uh, for validation and um, the confirmation okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to declare a function here uh, for register urls once i have that i'm going to declare the endpoint for this one so this is where we are so let me just go back and we are on customer to business click register url and this is where we are so i started with the endpoint next i want to fill this uh, request which is the validation url confirmation url response type and short code any details concerning these variables i'll leave a blog um, in the description that you can go and study more so we go back uh, we have the endpoint Next, I want to declare a data array, and this data array will contain the validation URL. Uh, this is the base URL. Remember, we had it uh, pointing to our ngrok endpoint. Next, we need the confirmation URL. Uh, we interchange uh, no problem. So we have confirmation URL. Then we'll have the response type. There are only two kinds of responses. That is completed and cancelled. So we're going to pick the completed answer. Next, we need now to find the short code. And the short code, if you come here and click here, you'll get a short code. So this time, my short code is this one. All right. So I'm going to copy this short code. And uh, I'll put it here. Next, we need to now send our posts request like this. So I'm going to declare my client requests and the request is going to be a post request to our endpoint which is this one next we need an array that contains the headers and the header is authorization bearer remember the access token if you've not watched any video prior to this please go back and see the whole playlist where we started the obtaining the access token next we need to uh, attach the body which is now the json data which is this array and lastly we need to disable http errors like that so that uh, if the raja returns something like 500 or something we don't break our application okay next we need now to send this response back to our browser or our api endpoint or our client so that we can know whether this was registered remember this action only takes place once in the lifetime of your application or in the lifetime of this project okay so you don't keep on registering the urls every time read more information on the blog post below so once this is done um we're going to go to our payments payment api here and here i'm going to uh, start by creating a function uh, for callback then i'm going to use the requests uh, let's say helper that is provided by code igniter to get the post uh, json uh, post json data that has been posted to us on our confirmation endpoint next we're going just to because we're not going to save this data but it's very simple if you want but because we're not saving let's just return this data so that you can see okay next i will create my validation endpoint i found out that uh, code igniter has validate as a method so instead of just doing validate you can just do pay validate okay next we just need to return a response code and a response description so if you're doing validation or if validation is enabled on your uh short code you have to return something here after you validated the payment remember the details that are sent to this endpoint are similar to this only that this payment has not been completed okay so you can maybe check for account number check for phone number check for uh so many things before you process your request right okay now once we have this uh, now because uh, we have a problem with the raja yeah? i'm not sure it is working uh, the callbacks part does not work what i've gone what i've done is i've gone ahead i have some sample response uh, that we're expecting from the raja so i've created my own here and this is what i'll be sending to my endpoint which is going to be the confirmation url so this is going to be let me change this is callback sorry callback let me see yeah i've called it callback 
right? So this will come to our callback here and we'll see the kind of data that we've sent. We can as well send uh, what Mpesa recommends, which is something like this, okay? But let's just return this data. So if we want to process it, we know what to do. So I'm going to here and I'm going to send this request and we can see that this data is going to come back, okay? Next, let's now test our register URLs, okay? So we go here, let's go here. So I'm going to go to Mpesa slash register URLs like that. So you send that request and we get that <coughs> our request has been or yeah, find that our request has been successful. So response code is zero, meaning success. So if you get anything other than this, your URL was not registered. So once this is registered, manual payments can start coming or reflecting on your um, on your callback. So here you can save, you can send SMS, you can do all those things. We'll look at those things in the next tutorial. I mean, once we're done with this, we now look at an advanced stage of now consuming the Daraja for applications and your projects. So that is all uh, on Daraja API and um, everything you need to learn about register URLs. Um, for Codeigniter, I believe I'll stop at that point, although we have other APIs that are usable like uh, check status, reversal, and uh, Oh, we have reversal, B2B, B2C. So I'm just going to stop here because we have uh, information that uh, you can now not reverse a transaction. Uh, you have to do it from the uh, .org website. So there is no need of us doing that API anymore, right? Right, so yeah, that's it. Uh, hope you've liked what you've seen and uh, Let's meet in the next video. Uh, we'll look at tips and tricks for the Ambassador API. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to leave a like, and most important, importantly, don't forget to leave some positive vibes. Help me reach 5K. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share this video, okay? Thank you very much.